welcome back to another episode of Daily Pool Trick Shots. I'm Florian Kohler, also known as Venom, and today is day 26. Let's have a look at the shot on our plate for today. This is what we call the jump out of the rack. It's a 10 out of 10 on the WPA Artistic Pool program. So in three tries, you do not make it every time. It is not an easy shot. And on top of that, uh, usually in the program, the Artistic Pool program, we got a red ball that sticks here. So, uh, you know, it's a little easier, more room, but in this case, I don't want to confuse you guys. I don't want to confuse you guys, so I'm making it a little easier uh, for you to visualize, but harder for me. So, here's the shot. Cubal jumps into the red. Red ball causes to jump over the rock as well. Goes in that corner. Cubal follows into this red ball. So, a uh, very tricky little shot here. Like I said, I made it a little, a little harder than it already is. So, at a 10 out of 10, it's already harder than that. So. It's okay, you know, we'll try our best and we'll see how long it takes. Uh, mainly here I'm going to focus on trying to get the jump. See if I can get this cue ball to react the right way and this object ball especially to jump off the rack after impact. It's really the hardest part. Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess I got good leftover on my practice from the World Championship last year. Uh, or a few, actually a few years back now, it's COVID, we didn't have it last year at all, so, but yeah, I guess uh, at first try, wow, that's, uh, that's as clean as you get, trust me, it could have been a lot more difficult, usually you kind of have to mess it a little bit, and you know, you miss it long, miss it short, then you miss this one on the left, miss one on the right, but in this case today, it just performed perfect, so I'm not going to complain, and I'm going to take it and live with this one. Well, this was shot number 26 for the months. Uh, by the way, for those wondering what kind of jump cue I use, so this is a carbon fiber Q-Tech Pro Plot jump cue. And the reason I'm using this one in particular is because it's got a, a little handle there. So uh, when I got in position, it helps me to have a longer cue. You can do it with a normal jump cue as well, but uh, you don't want this to jump a lot. And this cue really jumps a lot. So if I remove the second part, you know, I'll be way over the ball. And so by keeping my cue kind of level, and just using you know the natural abilities of the of the jump cue to jump the ball, I really I'm able to control that uh, those cue ball and object ball very well. So for those wondering, so this is still a standard jump jump cue basically. All right, so um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below if you have any question. Later, guys.